Welcome back. In the previous part, we arrived in a very, very strange location. Another world. Terror, in fact. And this very, very strange village that features several characters that seem to have a tail and similar hairstyle to the main character. How odd. I'm sure that means nothing. I'm sure it's fine. Oh, this seems quite strange. Oh, this is a familiar symbol. Ah, oh, I wonder where we've seen that before. Planet's color indicates its shape. Gaia is blue. Terra, red. Everything here is blue. Fleeting knowledge is useless to vessels, but information is given to prevent mental atrophy. Mental atrophy? At atrophy? Souls flow. As the planets turn. Okay. The planet's shimmer is in its breath, a sign of life. Activity caused by the cycling of souls. When the souls of Terra and Gaia mix, Terra will be integrated into the larger Gaia. I'm sure, I'm sure that means nothing to us. The flow of souls means that a planet has life. The stoppage of souls means that a planet is dead. Oh, all right then. I think you can finally put the pieces together as to what's going on here. We measure their suitability as vessels for our research in order to create and grow a higher breed of genome. He's, he's very silent. Response value 356. Okay. Yeah, I know. I'm not talking to you. No response. Activity measurement 525. Surpass basic value. Okay. We'll have that. May as well. That's what we're here for. Nothing else. Nope. Not learning the story passively. Nope. Not at all. Oh dear. It's not going to be fun when it all comes together, let's put it like that. This looks like a good place for Garnet to get some rest. I think you're the one who's going to need some rest, mate. But what's up with everyone here? They're all so... stiff. I don't know why, but I have a bad feeling about this place. First things first, got to bring Garnet back here. I wanted the chest first, but alright. Excuse me? Do you have any medicine? Hello? Is there a place I could buy some medicine around here? Hello? I'm asking me if you have any medicine. Yeah. How come this place is full of weirdos? Everyone has a tail like Zidane. Uh, if only I could find some Pima Pima herbs. I could make some wake up powder for her. But is this my lucky day? No. Huh? Found you! You're that girl, right? It's your fault gonna collapse, you know? Oh, never mind. Say, don't you have any medicine at all? She will soon awaken. How do you know? Where is your man? M my man? My man? Who took about Zidane? Even I never called him that. But too bad for you. He and Garnet are super hot for each other. You don't have a chance with him. Tell him I am waiting in the underground laboratory. Oh, the nerve. What makes you think I'd ever tell him that? Hey, where do you think you're going? What a bimbo. Uh-oh, don't have time for this. Garnet. Princess, why must you suffer more? Damn it. What's the matter, Zidane? I haven't been yourself at all. What the heck do you mean? I haven't been myself. I'm sorry. I don't even know what's wrong with me. I just... I just can't concentrate with this blue light. Uh, uh, Princess, you have awoken. What made you lose consciousness so suddenly? I remembered. Remembered what? It wasn't a storm that destroyed Dean Suri. It was... It was the eye on that airship that destroyed Medain Suri. Remember, don't you? The eye that was also there when Alexandria was leveled. Yes, there was a large eye in the sky above from which light emanated. Now that you mention it, it was there when Bahamut went wild at the 
If a tree. Yes. It was there in the sky. It must be the same airship. What? Then that must be the ship that slew Her Majesty. Rusty. Oh. I I I'm sorry, Princess. Don't worry about it. I've already come to terms with that. That ship took everything from me. It took away my parents, my homeland, Alexandria. Everything. How terrible. Got it! You all right? Y yes, I'm fine. No, you're not. You're still pale. You've got to rest. Hmm. How come everyone looks so pale? What's wrong? No need to be concerned. A strange place such as this is ca cause enough for exhaustion. Oh. Hey, where are you going, Sinan? Oh! That's right. That weird girl, that girl that led us here, uh, said something strange again. She said she was waiting for you in some underground laboratory? What a pervert. Sedan? Can I go back? I want that chest. My focus is this damn chest at the moment. No, not the princess, why must you suffer more? Oh, well, that was worth it. I mean, I suppose it was. An elixir is an elixir, isn't it? So. Right, underground laboratory. Yeah, such a strange crystal, that. Oh, well. There she is. Triple dot. Oh, so that's what's going on. Jeez, I should have guessed. This is what you wanted to show me. Yes. I'm glad you understand. I don't want to understand, sorry, but... I'm not like that. And all these guys with tails who look just like me. They're a bunch of zombies. They are my peers. We are genomes. We live in this village. Genomes? Is that what they're called? Not just them, but you and me too. It is the name of the seed given to all of us. Its name is Genome. Talk about a letdown. Who'd have guessed that the home I've yearned for would be a dump like this? No wonder I never found it. It's not even on Gaia. Why are you not happy? You've returned to the place of your birth. Happy? You guys can process that emotion? Look at them. Look at all their blank faces. What can we do? After all, we are made that way. And we are built to watch over each other and work together as soulless genomes. What's it all for? Get to the point! How come I grew up in Gaia if I was born here? I'm alive, I have a soul. Why is everyone here so... Because you are... special. What? We are mere vessels. You have been given a greater purpose. The will of Garland is absolute. Garland? Who's that? Oh, Alright then, just wander off. We're in the middle of a conversation, but it's fine, just, no, just wander off. Garland watches over this planet. His mission is to restore the people of Terra. Restore the people of Terra? In people besides these guys here? They are merely vessels. So am I, and so are you. But the true people of Terra have been asleep for ages, waiting for their time to come. When the time is right, the light of this planet will change from blue to red, and Gaia will become Terra. Wait a sec. So the people of Terra are out to take over Gaia? What else can there be? Terra has always absorbed new planets to survive. And when the time comes, the souls of the people of Terra will occupy the genomes. Such is the restoration of the people of Terra. Why do they have to be so tedious? Why don't they just wipe us out with magic like they did Alexandria? Once gone and tried to use a more forceful method, but failed. He should just quit and leave Gaia alone. Because of his failure, he was forced to wait a long time. To wait until Gaia's civilizations gained tremendous power. The power to use Eidolons. So that's why you attacked the summoners of village and destroyed Alexandria. Planets have a cycle of souls. Souls are born from the planet, and then return to it. Garland planned to gain control of that very cycle. And you were supposed to help him achieve that. What? 
Garland is waiting for you. Come. What do you think you're doing? I don't care about all this Terran Gaia stuff. I mean, you should. Zidane isn't back yet. Have we got enough feeling? Well, I wonder where he is. I go. No, gone. You can't get up yet. I'm all right. Listen, I want to ask you a favor. Oh, just tell me, and I'll get right on it. I want you to go find Zidane. Huh? Oh, sure. Okay. Oh, I get it. I'm getting jealous. No, I'm not. I just have a feeling something terrible is going to happen. All right, I'll go get him. So you just stay here and rest. Mm hmm. ATE. Place to call home. Ah, hey, oh, what a big stone! Why you all watch stone? Is stone edible? Or is it for barbecue? No answer. I think I lick it. You know answer, so you know mine, right? Hmm, it's very salty. Oh, who that? What are you doing here, Zidane? Huh? Oh, uh, hi, Krina. You stand here saying nothing. Then you just like other dummy dummies. No can tell the difference. They say someone always has double somewhere. There's so many of you here. The world's a strange place, no? Yeah, I guess. Zidane, what matter? He knows himself. Hmm. Oh, it's nothing. I'm always myself. Besides, it's not just me. You look like you just... You just... What, what, what? You look just like your master, too. Of course, Master Quail is... Ku Clan. We same. Yeah, I guess everybody looks the same to someone from another race. Racist. Hmm, maybe you're right. Wait. What? He say... Same race? There you go. Uh -huh. Where's Vivi in all this, anyway? Where the heart is. There he is! Excuse me. So, um, what do you guys do here? Um, oh yeah, uh, this blue light sure is pretty, isn't it? You like it too, right? You're looking at the blue light. Light is unpleasant to us. Oh, really? It's that girl. Hmm. Hey, Zidane. What are you up to? What do you mean? What are you doing, Vivi? I'm trying to talk with the natives. This boy here seems to be my age and everything. I'm wasting your time. They won't give you a decent answer. No, oh, but I think I can get through to them. Huh. I'm surprised you feel that way. I don't know why, but I feel like we're similar. Similar? What do you mean? I know they're similar to me, but... N no, no, not like that. They're a lot like the black mages we saw on the cargo ship and in Clara. Of course, we don't look alike at all, but I can see one thing. Their minds aren't hollow. I think that their minds are just out to lunch for a little while. Hmm. Not hollow, huh? Hey, where are you going, Zidane? Zidane? You're starting to see a similar pattern form here, but the roles have been reversed. Hey, why are you taking me? Told you. You're going to see Carland. Yeah, of course, but this way is a dead end. There is a way. See? You may find him through the portal. Oh yes, the portal. He waits where the souls sleep. The floating castle, where souls bide their time until the restoration. Pandemonium. Will you not say farewell to your friends? I don't care what I am. I was born here, wasn't I? If so, then I am an enemy of the people of Gaia. You learn quickly. Make no mistake, I won't join your side. I just... 
We are actually relatives, then. I want to take care of this little family matter myself. Oh, okay. May as well speak to him, I suppose. Say, Amaran, did Sedan go this way? Yeah, it seems so. He had a real serious look on his face. I knew something was wrong. Gonna go look for him, right? Huh? I'm trying to say I'll go with you. Catch my drift. Oh, very well. It's gonna be out here somewhere. Oh, this is definitely familiar. There we go. Now, you listen to me. Where did you think Zidane? He went on his home to see Garland. Garland? Oh, that's a sinister name. But Zidane wouldn't just leave us hanging. He went... Yes. He went to find out the reason for his existence. Liar! That's a terrible lie! I am an enemy of the people of Gaia, he said as he walked through the gate to Pandemonium, twisting the truth there. We gotta tell the others. Heaven grant the wandering souls eternal repose. So this must be Garland's haunted mansion. Talk about a bad taste in interior decorating. Alright. Time to teach this tyrant a thing or two. Yes, I'm sure that's what will happen. Everything will be fine and go according to plan. So, we meet again. Excuse me? Who are you? Twelve years ago, I lost one of my most prized genomes. I created him and sent him to Gaia to disrupt the cycle of souls there. You are that genome. I am glad you have returned. Shut up! Nobody tells me what to do. I didn't come here to answer to you. Let me guess, you must be Garland. And what if I am? And you're going down, but first you're going to tell me everything. Why did I grow up on Gaia? And why do you want to destroy it? I have no intention of destroying Gaia. I only wish to make Gaia into terror. What did you just say? Of course, not everything went as planned. You growing up on Gaia, for example. There is another one built as you were. He may be the one who threw a wrench into my gears. He? Who the heck are you talking about? Someone you know quite well. Follow me. A time when the aura of Gaia will turn to the crimson glow of terror has not yet come. I may need your help anyway. Okay. Seems fine so far. Pandemonium. Good name for this place. Stop. So I like this, because it's like, actually, I can't just straight up follow him. It's like, oh, fine, I've got to jump around. Now tell me everything. I constructed the genomes to be vessels for the souls of the people of Terra when they awaken. But 24 years ago, I gave life to a genome that was very much like you. His will was too strong to make him into a proper vessel, and I even considered discarding him. But then I thought that I should put his strength to use. I sent that genome as my servant to disrupt the cycle of souls on Gaia. Yeah, so tell me who he is. Come on. Put two and two together. Do you not yet know? You and he are so much alike. Unlike? I haven't met anyone like me. You judge only by appearances. I mean someone with a soul similar to yours. The one I sent to Gaia might also be called your brother. And his name is Kuja. Kuja? Is it genome? Impossible! He doesn't even have a tail! He is only hiding it. He denies his own identity. He rejects the meaning of his existence, 
tries to assert his own individuality. Don't you see the resemblance? Shut up. I'm not like him at all. He said the same thing when speaking about the other genomes. I'm not like these guys. His ambition was unbecoming of a genome, but it was perfect for the mission I gave him. To bring war and chaos to Gaia. That is what I sent him to do. To include an unnaturally chaotic flow. So then why? The disruption of the flow of souls is best brought about by war. And what he did for me far exceeded my greatest expectations. About me, how did I end up on Gaia? When you received the gift of life in Branbal, Kuju could not bear it. He could not bear to see a genome with more power than his own. He felt threatened. Kuju discarded you. He dropped you onto Gaia, the world he would destroy. So I was able to be your slave, just like Kuju. Start a war on Gaia. That is correct. I did not expect Kuja to abandon you, but I believed it was his nature. And to him bringing war to Gaia would prove his victory over you. Perhaps it is best... Best. Perhaps it is because of his desire to justify his existence that he let you live as well. So that is why the blood of thousands had to be spilled? Are you referring to Kuja's ambition? Or to our plan to disrupt the cycle of souls? Both! What does that do you gain by disrupting their cycle of souls or whatever? Restoration. We must sort the souls. I want to disrupt Gaia's cycle and drain its souls, filling the void with the souls of terror. To speed the cycle of souls is to speed the work as a whole, thus war. And in time, Gaia's souls are gone, and Gaia becomes terror. How? You saw it with your own eyes. You saw the ether tree and the mist it emits. The role of the ether tree is that of soul divider. The mist you see comprises the stagnant souls of Gaia. Oh yeah, but we stopped the mist. So much for that. All you saw was the back of the tree. Even now, the ether tree blocks the flow of Gaia souls, while it lets those of terror flow freely. Come and see for yourself. See the true form of this planet. What is this? I think for distant observatory. A place to measure the radiance of Gaia and Terra. What are you talking about? What is this weird light? That is the center of the planet. The end and the beginning of the cycle of souls. The light remains Gaia's for now, but when the blue changes to crimson, all will belong to Terra, and its restoration will be complete. That is why I wrapped up the light in the ether tree, to prevent the cycle of the judgment of souls on Gaia from inside the planet. Such is the ether tree's true, true purpose, its true form, all you saw was its material form. The flow of Gaia's souls cannot be changed simply by stopping the disposal of mist. So, Kutra is just an angel of death who sends souls to the... Eve tree of Aoife. Sounds strange. Said Eve tree, yeah. Yes, my angel of death. But only until you came of age. What do you mean? His soul is not eternal. It's going to create you next, after all. You mean you won't need Kuja's soul once I grow stronger than him? Precisely. Soon that time will come. Well, now you should be fully aware of the meaning of your existence. Is that where did you go? Oh. Yeah, I'm aware of all the laughter, all the tears I've shed with the people I grew up with on Gaia. 
Forget all that. We're destined to live among the stars for all eternity. We have the power, the position, and the motive to do it. I wouldn't want that kind of power. I only had a place to call home. My brother is Tantalus, Vivi, Freya, Amaranth, Queena, Steiner, Ico, and Garnet. My home is with them in Gaia. You say I have a motive, and it is to punish all of you who brought pain to my friends. I'll destroy Terra. That's reason enough for my birth here as a genome. Regrettable. I thought your soul would be perfect for a new angel of death. I am the new angel of death. Yours. Don't you know what it means to meet your maker? Shut up. I've heard enough of your crap. I'm taking you out right here, right now. Foolishness. I, Garland, will knock you all down. Uh, oh, uh, the body becomes a vessel which greets a new soul. What's happening? It's like the dude created you. He, he, think about this for a minute. He's too good to make into a regular genome. But I have no choice. Yes, indeed. I can't believe I actually returned to this place, but... Soon, soon the power will be mine alone. <laughs> Just you wait, Garland. And you too, Zidane. I'll exact sweet revenge upon you both for insulting me. I'll make the people of both Gaia and Terra know who rules over all of them. <laughs> Subside down. Oh, it's a reflection. Who am I? Don't know anything. I, I can't think at all. Sit down. Yeah, I was called that once. Many people called me that. You always have to show off, don't you? Yeah, maybe I do. Are you worthless? Mendicant? Okay. Yep, sounds about right. How very becoming of you. Becoming of me? I've only learned a lot by traveling with you, Zidane. You're right. I have nothing to teach. You teach me many things more important than tasty munchies. No, I don't know anything. I call that friendship. 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 Is it done? I don't know. Who I am. You're always there for me, Zidane. I'm so tired. How come you're always so. An empty vessel. Zidane! Who? Wake up, Zidane! Who? Zidane, wake up! Oh. Zidane! Hey? Aiko? Thank goodness you're alive. I thought you were dead. Oh. I. I was so worried. Why'd you come here all by yourself? What are you doing here? Huh? I came to save you, of course. It wasn't easy. I went off all alone. Leave me alone. Huh? This has nothing to do with you. Oh, come on! And he goes, being the tough guy, looks at Dan. It's not just about you. Come on, Zidane. Do it like that, let's... Shut up. Just shut up, you stupid brat. 
done. It's done. It's done. Wait up. You need rest to done. You little twits, just shut up. All right. There's some things kids can't understand. Like the fact we have to end this part here because we're at our half hour mark. I don't want to end it at this bit because this is a really, really good bit, but we're at half hour. Just, I was hoping there was a moment rest before we got to when he was sitting in the chair, but there wasn't. So, yeah, we'll end in this part here. We'll see you in the next part when we fight this thingy. I'll probably turn on the 999 stuff because he's on his own and stuff. So, we'll see you in the next part. Not half an hour.